Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Get bell. <laughs> yeah, ding, ding, ding. Hey, everybody. Welcome to um, Team Terry's Gator Kitchen. Um, I hope you guys are all having an amazing weekend. Um, this weekend just flew by. flew by. It seems to be getting colder, and everybody is kind of in the hustle and the bustle of the holidays. So as you guys are coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. Um, if you are catching the replay, um, tr just drop missed you in the comments so we can reach out and connect with you. I'm like not seeing anyone jumping on, so I'm hoping it really helped us to stay, I mean, consistent. I know with the holidays, it's rough. It's gonna be tough. It, yeah. But we really try hard to stay as good as we can, and so that's why we bring these on for you guys too. So as you're jumping on, thank you guys for saying hello. At least now I see that I hit the right button. Yay yeah. me. Oh my it's gosh. Starting to come on, yeah. <laughs> it is, so thank you guys. Um, and make sure you share this out, okay? Sharing is caring. Somebody shared this with you whenever you found us, so please share it out. This is an amazing dinner roll that we are doing some holiday cooking, getting things ready for Thanksgiving, and you guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna go share and let Mark get started. Okay, be sure you check us out on YouTube, um, Team Terry Keto. Team Terry is uh, one word, the teaser capital. We've got uh, 115 recipes in there. A lot of these uh, recipes um, we did uh, last year for uh, for the holidays, so they're all in there. Um, you can make yourself a complete holiday meal and, and stay low carb uh, or keto. So um, be sure you do that. If you'd like the uh, the link to the YouTube channel, drop YouTube in the uh, uh, comments and we'll get the link so it'll take you right over there. And if you're uh, watching us on YouTube, come check us out on Facebook at Team Terry Keto. So this is our regular bread recipe that we're taking and uh, we're going to adjust it a little bit just in the size of that. We're not going to make one big loaf. We're going to make smaller um, loaves to uh, make them into dinner, dinner rolls. So um, I have got a one and a quarter cups of uh, fine almond flour and I'm gonna, I keep it in the refrigerator so it stays fresh for a long time. And I, um, I will sift it when I, oh, you want to turn the uh, yes. water on please? Um, and then I will sift it just to make sure that it doesn't get lumpy. Um, we're going to add to that five tablespoons of psyllium husk powder. This is really good fiber for you um, and will help keep the, the uh, bread together. And then I'm going to put in two teaspoons of baking powder, if I don't spill it all over the place. He has got fumble fingers today. I have been dropping today. things all day long. I don't know what the deal is. And then uh, a tablespoon of um, pink Himalayan salt. You can use sea salt as well if you want to. And then I'm just going to sift all that through here so that it uh, mixes it all up and makes it really fine so that it's a little easier to... Uh, to mix with the uh, with the wet ingredients. So Once I get this done, uh, I'll add my wet ingredients and we'll make this into a dough. So perfect. Thank you guys for saying hello as you are coming on. We appreciate it. Also, let us know where you're watching from. It is so amazing to see how far we reach with the Facebook platform. Um, we have people in Australia, Canada, and I mean all over the place. Yes, yes. and so we please please let us know where you're watching from. That is awesome. And also, if you are watching us right now and there's a red box up in the corner, you are catching us live. But if that red box is not up there. You missed us. So please drop missed you in the comments. Um, and if you're new, please write new in the comments so we can um, reach out and welcome you. It's just awesome to all the people that we have met sharing our recipes and our journey um, have really changed our lives. They've enhanced, they really enriched have. our lives. They really so have. We appreciate we all of you guys. We enjoy helping people. Okay, so I've got that in there. Um, I kind of screwed up a little bit. I put the, didn't put the water on That's, the boil until later. That's okay. We can um, wait a second or but two. it should only take a minute or so. And thank Betty and Davis for sharing us out. So if you do share us out, you guys, please put shared in the comments. That way we can give you a full name shout out. Boil. Oh, I put it on the wrong thing, that's why. See, this is why Renee doesn't cook. I went over there, he says, can you turn the water on? And I turned it on, but I didn't put it on boil, so I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, maybe another couple of minutes. <laughs> that's okay, we can say hello to everybody. Yes. So, hey, Rosemary from Connecticut. Um, hey, Georgia. Hey, Betty from North Carolina. I need some help with a grocery list. Oh, I'm so glad you said that, Phoebe. So, you guys, if you are needing some meal plans or grocery lists, drop meal plans in the comments. We would love to get yes. you in and get you some meal plans, definitely. Um, there's all kinds of different ones, because you have a family of four, you've got like mm -hmm. us just two. So, drop meal plans. We would love to get you guys um, yes. meal plans. And if you aren't already in our recipe group and you're wanting in there, please drop recipe in there. Charles, I appreciate, appreciate you, Sarball, and Becky Stone. I really appreciate both of you guys for sharing us out. Okay, how do you say that? Bourbonnais, Illinois, is that right? I don't know. I can't see it. It's Bourbonnais, I think. Lake Cumberland, Kentucky. Wow, you guys. This is awesome. Thank you, Margaret Bouchard, for sharing. We appreciate you. And Phoebe, I will get you into um, the group. So you guys, to get into like the meal plans and into the group, make sure that you are following us. Actually, just send us a friend request. It's like one less step so I can get you in. Facebook hates me. And anytime that I like interact with people that aren't um, my friends, um, it shuts us down. Shuts us down. Okay, so I've got a uh, one and a quarter cups. One and a quarter cups? Yes. Yeah, one and a quarter cups of hot water, boiling water. I'm going to add to that three egg whites and then um, one teaspoon or two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. You can also use white wine vinegar if you want to. And then you're just gonna mix this until it's combined. You don't wanna over mix this, it'll get too hard and it won't, uh, it won't turn out right. You want it to be like Play-Doh. Yeah, you want it to be like Play-Doh. You don't want it to be really, really thick. Yes. Um, about 30 seconds is usually enough to do it. Hey Chandra, thank you for saying hello. And Charles said I said it right. Perfect, I love it. Okay, so just enough to get it combined. And then uh, we're going we're gonna to take this and we're going to make um, 
Hey, Teresa. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Ruth. Thank you for jumping We're gonna on. We're going to make uh, dough balls out of it. Okay, let so. me get this stuff out of the way so you yeah. can put your thing in. I will clean up. Clean up. Hey, guys, if you are getting value out of this at any time, if you could please put value in the comments and smash that love button for us and give it a quick share out, we would really appreciate it. Okay, so um, I tried a couple of different sizes for uh, the um, rolls. Um, this one was a uh, one and a half tablespoon um, cookie scoop. Those came out pretty small. This one, I took two of the cookie scoops, so it was three tablespoons. And then uh, the, last, the last ones are the ones that we'll be using. That was actually an ice cream scoop. So I'm going to take an ice cream scoop and just <laughs> load it full. Sorry, guys. We flipped the there. camera today, and so we're both kind of a little bit backwards. <laughs> yeah. And then take it out. I've got my hands are a little damp so that I can roll it up, just make it into a nice little ball, and uh, kind of pack it together. And then we're just going to put this on a cookie sheet. We're going to make it, uh, we're going to put it uh, in the oven at 350 for about 50 to 60 minutes. This one takes a little while to cook. Um, and it's mostly because the uh, um, the almond flour and the, and the psyllium husk take a little longer to cook through. It takes us almost 60 minutes in our oven, but start at yes. 50 so you don't burn them, and then just go five minutes at a time. That's what Mark does. And then he taps on the bottom of you guys with like a spoon, and if you can hear it being hollow. Yeah, if it sounds hollow, hollow when you take it out. Then you know. Yeah, you could also do the old toothpick method if you wanted to. You just want to make sure that it's not doughy and still wet inside. Um, be sure that you're doing when you're doing these that they're not sticking to your hands. If they're sticking to your hands, wet your hands again so that you can uh, make nice little... Uh, nice little balls out of them and so i don't usually do macros on this you guys but everybody's been asking me so i put it in tonight and this one has less than one net carb and it's 80 calories so I mean, it's a perfect dinner roll i'm really looking forward to using it to put for leftover turkey um to make a leftover turkey sandwich the next day with some yes. mayonnaise that's right mom if you jump on here i am taking turkey because <laughs> <laughs> i want to have a turkey sandwich with these rolls um so yeah i will also post the recipe up at the top for you guys so make sure um that you share this to your page and then you can go back and where if you follow the link to the recipe there's a place over um there that you can print it out and then that way you have it to keep because like mark said now, this is so versatile. You can use this even for hamburger buns. Yes, um, you can make them a little larger and uh, they'll come out just perfect for hamburger buns. We've used them for hamburger buns and it's all the same recipe. We've used it for regular uh, sliced bread. Um, the first one we did was a... Uh, yeah. was a, uh, a loaf of bread, and it came, turned out really well. I really like it as rolls. I definitely like it as rolls, and I will get you guys in there, the ones that are dropping recipe group. Um, and I will post the recipe too. Thank you, Jamie, for dropping value. We really appreciate you guys. If you're looking for more recipes, remember to put recipes and I'll get you guys in that group. I think this is going to make, it, you could probably do nine to 12. Yeah, um, it depends on the size of your ice cream scoop. Mm -hmm. um, ours is pretty big, but you can see it's not yeah, um, hold one into your hand. You can see they're just barely larger than the palm oh, of your so hand. You so they're a, good, uh, they're a good size for a dinner roll. It's perfect. Um, it's perfect. It's just like the Costco ones. You just grab it in a bag. You can have your own. And you won't even know. Like I said, you guys, they do taste, I mean, they're amazing. We yes, really like them, they especially really with taste butter. Um, straight out of the oven. Yeah, That's like my favorite. You can take them right out of the oven and, and put butter on them. You can just, they're really good. All of you guys that are dropping recipes in the comments, make sure you send me a friend request, please, because it makes it 10 times easier with Facebook. Um, That's like the same reason why we ask you guys to do value and share out. Facebook is just really weird with um, things that they think are spam. So if people are dropping value or that they're liking it, Facebook will make sure that it is seen by more people so they can get um the same benefits that you guys are getting. This one's not quite going to make nine. No, this one's going to make eight. And like I said, it just depends on the size of the scoop you used and how big the uh, how big the balls you want to put uh, That's okay. to use them. They will all taste amazing. And then to store them, you guys, um, we're going to throw these into the refrigerator. Um, yes. There's no... There's no preservatives in it, yep. so you don't want to just leave it out. It will... It will, uh, because it has moisture in it, it will um, mold pretty quick so, if you don't keep it uh, refrigerated. Keep them in the refrigerator, and then we can take them to mom's on, you know, Thanksgiving Day, and it'll be perfect. So there they are. Oh, I'll show you guys what it looks like inside, so you guys can see. Okay, this is really hard for me. See how nice and fluffy and spongy. Okay, this one will be mine since I'm touching it. And spongy they are. It's absolutely perfect. You guys, you're going to love this. And like I said, I will post the recipe up top. You're going to put it in the oven 350 for um, 50 to 60 minutes.